Electronic sterilization of endodont ionophoresis with infected root canals. It is well known that the main place for accumulation of microorganisms when the endodont is infected is the root canal, the dentin canals, and a complex of bifurcated canals which leave the central root canal joined with the periapical space. All these microcanals are very high, curved, impassable, and increasingly multiple towards the apex. Mechanical endodont treatment is impossible because of this complex structure. An additional reason for availability of residual infection after endodontic treatment is the low diffusibility of used disinfectants up to 0.2 mm till the proven depth of bacteria's penetration in infected pulp is up to 1.2 mm out of the treated canal. The process of antiseptic substance penetration is restricted also by the shaped in the time of treatment smear layer. Plugging up of the canal in mechanical treatment, broken implements, shaping of stage, etc. The unprocessed part of the root canal net assures places for incubation and sources of microorganisms, especially anaerobe. Their growth is well provided by the availability of dead organic substances, insoluble collagen, etc. Through the numerous foramens, they sustain the status of the infection and they often are registered on revision of the endodontic treatment or cardinal removal of the focus, for example, an apical resection. To effectively reduce the bacteria number in the whole endodont, can be used the effect of moving of antiseptic ions with the help of the electric power of a strictly dosed intensity electric field. Based on well-performed preliminary preparation and canal cleaning, such infiltration guarantees total reduction of the bacterial flora and categorically release the task of the periradicular tissue for overcoming the inflammatory process. The movie shows a frequently used method of canal ionophoresis with iodine potassium iodide solution. The used solution is prepared when crystal potassium iodide is dissolved in one or two drops of distilled water and one or two drops tincture of iodine until solution saturation. After mechanical and medicine treatment in the root canal, drains soaked in prepared solution are inserted in them. A conductor is placed in contact with the train. The conductor is positioned by mailed dental wax or temporary obturative facilities. Fixing roll isolated by polyethylene band is placed over the wax. The patient closes her mouth. The multiple root teeth, the trains with medicine, are inserted in every canal. In the pulp cavity is put a tampon soaked with the same solution. The conductor is fixed in contact with the tampon. The patient is ensconced in a comfortable lying position. The passive electrode conductive rubber placed in a wet hydroxyl bag is fixed below or over the patient's right hand and is pressed down by a sand pillow. The active electrode clip is switched on to the conductor. The procedure starts by pushing the button start. The doctor directs her attention to the patient Begin using the, the remote control. Button is pressed, pointer up, for increasing the current passing to the patient. The 
button is held pressed till reaching such current level at which the patient starts feeling sense of shivering and shows these by a sign agreed in advance. In case of unpleasant shivering patient, the dentist must reduce the patient's current by one or two stages. After real basis determination, the patient must be left alone until procedure termination. Usually the procedure performing time is 15 up to 20 minutes, time enough for full infiltration of antiseptic ions in the whole endodontium. The device informs the dentist about time expiration and execution of procedure likely decreases the current and finally switches off the patient from the current contour. The dentist relieves the device's active and passive the electrode from the patient. The drain is taken out of the tooth canal. The drain must be colorless and this indicates yodine penetration in the dental tissue. Drains with chlorophenyl camphor or another disinfectant are placed in the canals among procedures. The cavity is sealed by temporary filling until the next procedure. Usually three procedures are recommended. Root canal filling must be done immediately after the last ionophoresis. Another area with large application of device for ionophoresis is infiltration of medicines into hard and soft teeth tissue. The ionophoresis is a treatment method combining usage of galvanic currents and medicines. The complex impact of these two factors, medicines pharmacological activity and galvanic current physical activity is setting up the therapist's effect. The advantage of this method is medicine's depot creation deep into the traumated heart tissue and its retention longer than in ordinary application. A model scheme of gingivitis and parodontitis treatment is presented in the movie. Most often vitamin C, B, PP, gallus corbinum or alloy are inserted. The patient suffers from gingivitis. Clinical oral hygiene and laser therapy have already been applied to the patient. Ionophoresis with vitamin C is executed on the third day. The personal electrode is wrapped up in sterilized lint. Vitamin C is poured onto the lint. If it is necessary, the buccal mucous tissue is isolated with polyethylene. The electrode is located in the area where the medicine will be inserted. In case of therapy with vitamin C, the active electrode is programmed with negative pole. The patient is left in peace till the procedure ends. When the procedure ends, the device gradually gets out of its current mode, stops current and the dentist switches off the patient of the current contour in reverse order. Two to three ionophoresis procedures should be made to the patient. The ionophoresis with medicines is successfully applied in the treatment of stomatitis, alveolitis and periocoronitis. Neuritis of the trigeminal nerve, fractures, the diseases of the temporomandibular joint, inflammatory processes with dental origin, etc.